Plastic. It's one of the main threats to marine life, which is why it's so important to recycle. But sadly, not all plastics can be processed by our local recycling centers. And that brings us to this report. Just because we're supposed to recycle plastic, that doesn't mean we can just throw anything made of plastic into the recycle bin. As if recycling weren't complicated enough, the rules for what can be recycled are up to each community. And when you consider that there are about 20,000 separate communities across the country, you can see how confusing recycling can be. There are many types of single-use plastic that a lot of communities can't recycle. For example, plastic films, containers, cups, bags of all kinds, resealable bags, snack bags, garbage bags, cereal bags, bubble wrap, styrofoam, hard plastics, including spoons and forks and knives. Oh my! Even shredded paper. What we can't recycle, we throw out. But that also causes problems. Because much of this stuff ends up as either litter in our streets and green areas, in the ocean, or in landfills, not only are landfills eyesores and a waste of space, they also emit greenhouse gases gases linked to climate change. So what do we do with all that unrecyclable plastic? There's a company in New Jersey that is developing processes that turn plastic items that are unwanted into items that are wanted. It's called TerraCycle, and they don't just deal with plastic. For a fee, they'll send you this all-in-one zero waste box. It takes many of the things your local recycling center can't handle. When it's filled, just mail the box to TerraCycle. Should just take a sec. Done, but instead of mailing it, let's pay TerraCycle a visit. We've arrived. This is one of TerraCycle's materials recovery facilities in Trenton, New Jersey. Hi, Todd. How are you doing? Welcome to TerraCycle. Thank you. I'm Ava from Teen Kids News. Nice to meet Ava, you. Very nice to meet you. Can I take that for yes, you? Yes, this is my box of plastics that I couldn't recycle in my community. Excellent. So what can I do with it? Let's take it inside and we'll take a look. Come on in. So are these all plastics here ready to be recycled? It's all different types of materials awesome. uh, that we receive from consumers all around the country. That's amazing. And this is the materials recycling plant, correct? Uh, this is what we call a MRF, which is a okay. re material recycling facility. Awesome. And uh, this is where we do um, sortation, we check in boxes that arrive, uh -huh. and we uh, send things out to processors from here. Awesome. So I'll tell you some more about it as Great. we can. I can't wait to go inside. Oh, wow. And I'll take you with me when Teen Kids News continues right after this break. continuing our report on recycling those things that many communities can't recycle. So what's the first step? So the first step is we receive material in this facility. They come in in boxes like this, yep. which we check them in. We scan them into our system. It's weighed. We consolidate them, and then we sort everything into the right materials. In addition to this location, TerraCycle has a number of facilities around the world where sorting takes place. After the items are separated by type, huge machines chop up the plastic into small shreds. And then they get sent out to processors to actually be turned into PCR material. PCR stands for Post Consumer Recycled. It refers to plastic that is made from existing plastic. The old plastic is melted down and turned into little pellets, which are then turned into new plastic items. Tell us why PCR plastic is helpful to our environment. 
So the nice thing about PCR plastic is that it's reusing plastics that have already been made. For instance, a bale like this is flexible plastic material that's going to be turned into pellets that can then be made into new products. So it doesn't require us to use more fossil fuels to generate new plastic material. So it's a great way to really embody recycling you know, in its fullest extent. PCR plastics are used to create many things. For example, tote bags, frisbees, and even an entire playground. What if I told you that playground behind you was made out of the material this bag is made out of? I would have been amazed. We've got lots and lots and lots of stuff here I see. So my question to you is, how are items sorted? Is it by product? Is it by type? So we sort things by different material types okay. based on what comes in, in the boxes. Uh -huh. So everything from different types of rigid plastics to flexible plastics, styrofoam, shoes, whatever different things come in, they're sorted based on how they're going to be able to be processed. Interesting. So some of the other things that we sort here are things like coffee pods. Not only are the pods recycled, any coffee grounds they contained are collected and then spread out as fertilizer. We also have electronic waste, PPE, personal protective equipment like masks, gloves, and other PPE materials, personal care and beauty products. We have clothing and textiles as well. So these products, these are all examples of items that you can't typically recycle in your community. Correct, these are traditionally items that cannot be recycled municipally at people's homes, but that's where TerraCycle comes into play. Our mission is to recycle the traditionally non-recyclable materials. So we create value for our customers by recycling things that you normally wouldn't be able to. Families can buy a zero waste box, like one of these, but that can be costly. Another option is to have your school or club join one of TerraCycle's programs. TerraCycle has a number of different national recycling programs that are funded by companies in order to facilitate the collection of these recycled materials. It's also possible to earn points uh, for your local schools and charities that can be used for donations. Overall, what can companies do to make recycling easier? So companies can make products out of single materials that would make it easier for them to be recycled in the first place. That goes for both products and packaging. For example, a tissue box that's made out of cardboard that also has plastic on it may be difficult to recycle versus just having it made of cardboard alone. Back in 1980, each American accounted for about 60 pounds of plastic waste per year. Since then, it's tripled. We're each creating more than 200 pounds of plastic waste a year. Clearly, we need to break this dangerous cycle by doing our best to recycle all we can. For Teen Kids News, I'm Ava.